Hey YouTube friends, thanks for joining me for this beginner mat workout. So for this workout, we're not gonna be using any props and it is definitely beginner. We're gonna be moving more slowly. We're gonna be focusing on mobility and some of the principles of Pilates. Uh, it's a great starting point if you haven't exercised in a while or you've never done Pilates. So let's get started. We're gonna begin actually seated. I'm gonna do a few warm up things first uh, before we get into some of the exercises. And the first thing we're gonna do is breathe. And what I want you to do when you breathe is inhale through the nose and exhale like you're blowing through a straw. Continue to breathe like that. And I want you to notice that you're sitting right on top of your sit bones and you want your spine to be nice and long. So you wanna feel like you're sitting as tall as you can and shoulders open. And again, inhale through the nose and exhale like you're blowing through a straw. Now, you're gonna inhale through the nose and this time as you exhale, we're gonna mobilize the spine. So you're gonna drop your head and then you're gonna flex forward from top of the spine to bottom. And then you're gonna stack the spine back up. Just let your arms kind of relax by the sides. Exhale as you go forward. Inhale at the bottom. And exhale as you come back up. Inhale at the top. And then exhale as you flex forward again. Inhale at the bottom. And then exhale as you stack back up. Now from here, all we're gonna do is take your hands behind you and just inhale and like you're taking that big morning breath and stretching your spine, you're gonna extend your spine and then come back to that long line again. Let's do it again. Inhale and lift. Shoulders roll back, that'll help you extend your upper back and then exhale forward. And one more time, big breath in, reach your arms behind you, just lift your head gently up and back and then come back. Now from here, we're gonna do a, a modification of an exercise called the spine twist. So you're gonna hold your arms like a genie and then you're gonna rotate to one side as far as you can and come back to the center. As you rotate, you're gonna inhale and lift up and then exhale back. When I say lift up, I mean through the spine. So you wanna feel like you're spiraling up like a barbershop pole and not from the shoulders and back to center. Let's do one more time to each side, breathe in and back to center and to the other side, breathe in, rotate, just feel that nice stretch through the obliques and then back to center. From here, you're gonna drop one arm to the mat, you're gonna take your other arm up and you're gonna kind of reach up and over, so don't crunch into it. You wanna feel that lifting up and over and coming back up. So one of the things I love about Pilates is that you move your spine in all directions and it really feels great. Breathe in and exhale up and over and down, so this is something you can do at your desk, you can do when you get up in the morning, before you go to bed at night, it's really good to move that spine in all directions. So these exercises are really helpful for that. One more time, breathe in, and exhale over, up, and back. Now we're just gonna roll the shoulders up and back. We hold a lot of tension, or a lot of people do anyway, in their upper traps, so this is a really good way to just mobilize the shoulders, the shoulder blades, and get everything kind of moving. And then let's go the other way. Just inhale and exhale. Inhale through the nose again, exhale like you're blowing through a straw. Now, we're gonna add some open with your arms and then wrap them around. Open, and let's just keep the spine long here. Breathe in, open, and exhale, wrap two more times. Open, and wrap one more time, reach, and close. And here, we're gonna finish with single arm circles up and back, but we're gonna add spinal rotation to it. So I'm gonna follow my hand with my eyes, breathing in and exhaling. Let's reverse that, up and around, and back and around. One more time, good stretch back there, and around. Let's do that on the other side. So this is not only getting the shoulder mobilized, we're also adding that spinal movement here as well. And if you follow your eyes with your hands, you're actually getting really good mobilization through the spine, and your spine is doing what it should do when you're reaching back there last time and come back. All right, from there, we're gonna go down onto the mat here by sitting and facing the side first with your knees bent and have your arms in front of you and just roll down a little bit and come back up. When you roll down, you wanna tip your pelvis and you wanna kind of flex and sink down toward the mat and then come back up. Let's do that two more times. Exhale, rolling back 
and coming back up one more time, sinking back, just kind of mobilizing the hip joint a little bit and the lumbar spine. Now take your hands behind your legs and we're gonna roll down onto the mat here. And now we've done the upper body, we've done the spine, let's do the lower body a little bit. Find what we call neutral here. So you want your pelvis to be level, meaning there should be a little space between your lumbar spine and the mat. From here, holding that position using your abs, slide your leg away along the mat and bring it back in and switch. Exhale away, inhale, come back in. Now the whole goal of this is called disassociation. And what we mean by that is you're gonna move your leg, but you're not going to move your pelvis. That shows control, which is what Pilates is all about. So we really wanna control this part of your body while mobilizing the lower part of your body. Shoulders are relaxed, and you exhale, and inhale one more time. Exhale, and inhale. Now we're gonna pick, make that a little bit more challenging by lifting a leg into tabletop and lowering it back down. So you're gonna exhale to lift. Again, you really wanna keep the pelvis steady here, not allowing it to move. That means your abs have to work to control the pelvis and lift. And this is really good for learning body awareness. If you feel like your head is tipped back like that, it'll help if you put a cushion or a pillow or a towel underneath your head to raise it up. You want your head and neck to be comfortable. Now, we're gonna do one more here, lifting and lowering, and then we're gonna bring that first leg up here, and you're just gonna, holding this steady, reach it out, exhale, and come back in. Again, really working on that stabilization, holding the pelvis steady, that body awareness, Two more times, reach away and come back in. And all of this prep work, all this practice is going to help you when we get into the more complicated exercises. So we're on the other leg now, exhale away, inhale back in. We've got three more, reach and bring it in. Exhale, two more, reach it away and come back in. And one more time, reaching and coming back in and place that foot down. Now keep the feet down, keep that pelvis in that same spot we've been practicing. And we're gonna come up into what's called the hundreds position with your upper body. So you're gonna flex up and come back down. So today, let's take one hand behind your head to support your head and come up, exhale up, inhale down. Cause they really want you to feel the focus in the abs here. Your abs are sliding your ribs toward your hips to help you flex up and come back down. Your free arm is gonna float up above your body here and your elbow comes slightly in front of you. And lower back down. Use your exhale here as you come up and inhale back down. I'm gonna switch hands here, so we're doing a little bit with both. Exhale up and down. Now I'm not really reaching into this arm, I really am just levitating it off the ground. And the other elbow on my, the hand, arm that's supporting my head is coming slightly forward. Again, you're not pulling with your arm. You're actually pulling with your abs here. And come back down. Let's do one more. Exhale up. And lower back down. Now from here, I'm gonna take my hands behind my head, both of them, and I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna add some rotation here, some flexion to the side, and then lower back down. And let's do that same thing to the other side. Exhale up and rotate. Now notice my elbows start wide when I'm down, and as I come up, they come in front of me. I can see them in my side vision. I'm not yanking them forward. I'm just gliding them forward. And again, exhale up and over, and come back down. You're supporting your head. Your abs are doing the work here. Last time, going to the other side, over, and back down. All right, let's flip over, and we're gonna bend back the other way here. So I'm gonna start right here on my front with my forearms resting on my side. My legs are straight and they can be slightly open, and my nose is just touching the mat. From here, I'm gonna lift my chest and my head away from the mat, and what I wanna be able to do at the top is lift my arms. So there really should just be dead weight on the mat. I'm not pushing with them. I'm actually have that feeling of pulling myself up with my back muscles, breathing in as I come up, and then exhale to come back down. Two more times, the shoulders will open back a little bit. That will help me extend that upper back and come back down one more time. Think of floating away from the mat and reaching forward and up and come all the way down. Now I can take one hand under my forehead and make this a little more challenging. I'm adding some resistance here. Again, this is just gently working those upper back extensors and really working on mobilization. Let's do two on the other side. 
breathe in. This arm is just dead weight. One more, lengthen away and come back down. Now from here, we're gonna take that a little bit further. So I'm gonna take my hands and I am gonna use my hands to support this time and I'm gonna come up, but I'm still really working on pulling up. So this is like the cobra. It's also the beginning of an exercise called the swan dive. My legs are apart and then I'm gonna come back down. And let's do that again. Pulling myself up away from the mat as much as I can and then helping myself with my arms as little as possible. And then come back down and two more times. Lengthen up, keep the shoulders pulling back and don't crank your head back. One more time, good mobility through the whole spine, lengthening back. Hold that position and then come back down. Let's get a little hip extensor work in here. Stack your hands, put your forehead down. Now reach one leg away and up. Notice I'm not bending the knee, keep it long and then lower back down. Let's do that on the other side, reaching away and up and lower back down and exhale and lift and lower down. And again, exhale and reach away and lift. Now the leg is turned out a little bit, meaning I'm really getting into those glutes and down and alternate. Exhale as you lift, shoulders relaxed. One more time here, lift up and away and down and just one more and then we're gonna move on, lift and come back down. Let's push back here and let's go into a quad position and from here I'm just gonna reach one arm up and down. So here I'm focusing on keeping the spine nice and long and really just moving the arms, lift and lower and again, lift and lower, one more set. So stabilize the spine. The whole goal here is not to move anything but the arm or just move as little as possible really. And then leg, I'm gonna reach back and lower down. I'm gonna alternate, exhale, reaching back and lower down. Now guys, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to us. Keep alternating, reach, two more, reach and one more time reach away and come back down. Now let's go right onto your side here. You're gonna fold your bottom arm and we're just gonna lift and lower that top leg. So here, what I want you to focus on is not sinking through your waistline. So kind of pulling your abs up away from the mat and lift and lower that leg. And let's do three more and down and two and one more time. Now hold this one about halfway up. Then bend the knee in front of you and reach back. So you notice we're laying and we're sitting and we're uh, laying on our front, we're laying on our back and now we're laying on our side. That's really helping us to make sure that we're kind of balancing out the movements and the muscles around the body. Exhale as you reach back, try to hold the pelvis steady. One more and reach it back. All right, let's do that to the other side. Come on up and over. And right down on your side, bottom leg bent, top leg long here, and you're just gonna lift and lower. Now here, I point on the way up and then flex and reach down and away. And let's do that again, up and flex and down and away, and two more, and then we're gonna finish up here. And one more, now halfway, and you're gonna bend and stretch back. And bend and stretch. And last couple here, bending and then stretching. Remember, lifting up on this bottom side. So your obliques are getting some work, just holding your pelvis in place. And reach back, perfect. From here, we're just gonna come over and I want you to sit back into what's called a shell stretch. So your seat will go toward your feet, arms down in front of you, and just let your spine flex and pull your abs up and in. From here, you're gonna walk your hands over to one side and your hips off the other. So a side to side shell and switch. This should be a nice stretch through the side after that work we just did. One more time on each side and over and then have a seat. So that does it for our quick beginner mat workout. We only covered a couple of exercises. There are so many more. And if you'd like to see more, please check out our website, johngarytv.com, and be sure to download the John Gary TV app. Again, I'd love it if you subscribe to us here and hit the like button as well. I look forward to seeing you again in more workouts. Bye, everybody.